hello guys welcome once again today I'm gonna show you how to use J slider so let's get started take go to your palette first and take a slider from your palette and place it into your J frame this is called your J slider okay and from here you can change its properties like minimum value maximum value minimum value I want to keep it 100 maximum for example I want to keep it 120 and here you can tick if you want ticks in your panel in your slider and what is the minimum spacing of your tick you can also define here for example minor tick spacing I want to take it as 5 and major tick spacing I want to take it as um, for example 20 so every 20 of points it will show a bigger tick and every 5 point it will show smaller ticks okay and you can show the values also like this 0 20 40 50 if if you tick paint label you can show your values and if you untick it you don't want to show the values here you can uncheck also this is for ticks so if you tick it in here ticks will come I want both and okay so let's see how our G slider looks like it looks like this and now I will show you how to make it functional so for example some value is given in some box so it should move according to that so how to do that first of all I will take a text field in which I am going to insert my value and I will take a button by which I will perform my actions when I press the button and whatever value is in this text field the slider should move accordingly so I will change some variable names so for example I will change its variable name cmd ok and yeah I will name it as value int so integer value is given so do that and then right click your ok button event action and action performed so you will go to your method and in your method you have to write int you can take any variable name I will take it as value is equal to integer dot pass int so I will take it write integer dot pass int and in, in here copy the variable name 
of your this text field so my variable name is value underscore int and paste it inside the bracket dot get text so do that and now copy your j slider variable name so i will name it as slider 1 i will copy the its variable name and i will paste it here dot set text set i think set value yeah so slider dot set value and your value is this So write this slider dot set value and inside this this variable. Okay, and now we will try to run our program. So this is our program for example and I want I have, for example I write hundred in my text field and when I would click okay it should go to hundred so let's see it happens or not yes it goes to 100 once again I want to enter 20 and press ok it goes to 20 50 press ok it goes to 50 so like this you can use your J slider for showing some values for example you can show these values pressure and temperature into your text field and then just write those two lines of code and this slide slider will show these values for example in my previous project when I click here these value changes pressure 1 value changes for example pressure 1 is 4 so here it goes to 4 pressure 2 is 9 so my j slider goes to 9 so like that you can use your values so that's it for today i hope you have learned something new today and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now